Did I come at a bad time? Oh my god, I'm a freak show. Was it something I said? No. Oh, I'm sorry. I I I didn't mean to slam the door in your face. And yet, it's it's so close. Oh, I know. I'm I'm sorry. I I don't I don't normally do this. I don't normally do things like this or look like this. It's just that uh, my my company ran into a little snag and I ended up being the guinea pig for our new company. Not that the lipstick is going to look like this on our company because it, it won't. It's just that I have to perfect the formula I and think so it's going to take. If only all women looked as good as you do now. Are you talking? I will, over dinner. Come out with me tonight. You know, you uh, haven't agreed to have dinner with me yet. Well, you still haven't told me what you're doing here, Michael. Business. I didn't know you had business in Pine Valley. I, I wasn't even sure I'd, if I'd see you again. Didn't you get the flowers I sent? There was a card. Yeah, yeah, I got it. The one that said, for last night and many nights still to come. I figured you said that to all the girls. Oh, well, you're not a girl. You're a spectacular woman. Which is why I had to see you. Well, I, uh, I have a business conflict. Um, I told you I started my own company, so I have a lot Here's to do. a new name in the cosmetics industry, yes. Yeah, we're, uh, we're pretty hot right now. <laughs> we're so hot that actually we ran into an unexpected demand for our new product. And since our factory isn't up and running, we had to create a lip color right here in my kitchen. Hmm. Oh, how very uh, enterprising. Yeah, well, I'm sort of the go-to girl in our company. And since we have to package the products and have them on the shelves by tomorrow and morning... the go-to I... girl can't go to dinner? Huh. Well, I... Yes, she can. Mm -hmm. No. Mom, what the hell are you still doing here? Uh, washing the beeswax off my lips, remember? Hi. Hi. Um, okay, uh, hi. Excuse me. Um, <laughs> don't blow this for me, please. You're blowing it for yourself. Is that not the guy from Aspen? Yes, it is, but I can't let him think he can just drop out of nowhere and I'll just drop everything for him. Uh, excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Michael Kinsey, this is my colleague, Simone Torres. Oh, pleased to meet you. Pleasure's mine. <laughs> you... you look familiar. Have we met before? I think I would remember such a beautiful... <clears throat> my mistake. <sighs> Yeah. They say everyone has a double. Huh? Yep, especially here in Pine Valley. <laughs> <laughs> so where is yours? Uh huh. All right. Well, well, I will go to the office <laughs> and tell Greenlight that you have been delayed. Okay. Better put on your flag jacket. Nice meeting you, Michael. Yeah, you too, Simone. Okay. Have a great day. <laughs> have a great day. Stay warm. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. <sighs> Shall we then? I, I can't go into public looking like this. I told you, you look, you look ravishing. Okay, I will try my best to believe that. If you will try your best to believe, it'll only take me one minute to freshen up. <laughs> oh, as you wish. So make yourself comfortable. Sit down, relax. You can listen to some music while you're waiting. Take your time. Thank you, Mr. Candy. Oh, uh, the name is Kinsey. Of course. I took a little longer than I expected. Uh, here's a little something extra for a job well done. Very good, sir. Bye. What did you do? Did I overstep? 
No. No, are you kidding me? The place looks fabulous. Good. Because uh, I was hoping you and I could spend some more time together if you didn't have to rush home and clean up. Oh, no, I, I would never rush home to clean up. How, how did you do that? I have my ways. May I get the lady a dirty martini? Wait, where, where, where did that come from? No more questions. Just enjoy. Now, what shall we drink to? First impressions or second chances? Hmm. No, wait a minute, wait a minute, I, I can't do this. Have I done something wrong? No. No, you, you did everything right. It's so right that you're, you're freaking me out. Okay, well, I'm afraid I don't understand that. Michael, you, you're like every wish come true. And I've learned from experience that when something feels too good to be true, it, it usually is. So you prefer things to go wrong? No, but they usually do. When something feels this right, it usually means that there's disaster lurking around the corner. Okay, well, I tell you what. I will round every corner before you to make sure that there's nothing waiting to pounce. Sometimes dreams do come true. I wish that... Shh, shh, shh. I'll prove it to you. If you let me. Fire-breathing dragons in sight. Shall we? Yeah. Thank you. So, when you said we were going to dinner, I thought you meant the Valley Inn, not New York City. Oh, it is entirely your fault. And when you came out looking like that, I had to take you someplace memorable. Oh, and you just happen to have this helicopter handy. <laughs> That's very nifty, especially since you said you were just a salesman. Did I mention I'm really good at what I do? Hmm. Somehow that doesn't surprise me. So what, what exactly do you sell, anyway? Oh, please, please. My job is very boring. I would much rather talk about you. Besides, it seems you've had an eventful day. Yeah, yeah, I'd say. Uh, I thought I was going to model our new lip color not be the uh, test dummy <laughs> <laughs> well i have to tell you your uh, your dedication to this new venture is admirable well we're not the giant enchantment is but we will be so that's your goal to beat the giants in the uh, cosmetics industry yeah well why dream small besides the beauty business is in my blood mm, certainly beauty is i'm talking about my mother is your mother as beautiful as you are you have, you have no idea who I am, do you? You ever hear of Erica Kane? No, who hasn't? Well, I like to call her Mommy Dearest. Erica Kane is your mother. Yeah, yeah, not that she'd admit it. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, now I know where you get your drive and ambition. Mm. Yeah, well, Erica built enchantment out of nothing, and mm. I plan to do the same thing for Fusion, or better. Now, doesn't this put you in direct competition with your mother? Oh, please. She doesn't see me as competition. She acts like I'm some gum she stepped in. Which is why she's not going to know what hit her when I blow her cosmetics empire right off the map. <laughs> so your goal is not to emulate your mother, but to destroy her? Yep. Now you know the real me. I'm not a princess. I'm a dragon. I'll just slay the evil witch. As I recall... Most fairy tale princesses have to destroy the witch in order to survive. So you, you think I'm terrible? Mm -hmm. I think you're driven. And I wish you success. 
Yeah, well, wishing it's not going to make it happen. Neither is running away on a moment's notice to have dinner with a handsome stranger. Okay, next time I plan a trip to Pine Valley, I will let you know in advance. Oh, thank you. Good. But you didn't... You didn't tell me what, what brought you to Pine Valley. Oh, you did. I thought you said you came to Pine Valley on business. Well, I haven't exactly been able to uh, concentrate on my work since I met you. So you just... You just flew all the way to Nowhereville, Pennsylvania, just to see me? That's right. Why would you do that? Don't you know? Because you're worth it.